feeling that almost every trainer has, well, maybe not every trainer, but a lot of trainers have, which is, I'm not good enough. And I think that kind of growth mindset, that thinking that you're not good enough is a good thing, but what you don't want to prevent that from doing is for you to put yourself out there and say, I'm a trainer. Now, if you want to get to be really good at this, what you have to do is amass a a lot of experience. You have to ride a lot of horses. And to do that, the best way to get really good at dressage is being a trainer. Internally, you always have to maintain that feeling that that you're growing and you're not there yet. You're not perfect, but you're working to become a better rider and to pursue more education and you don't have all the answers, but you're working to get there. I'm on my way right now uh, to help another trainer. Just um, She's like 10 minutes from my barn. Um, so really close, but I'm going to help her in hand. She asked me to come over and help uh, with a horse. Um, and I do that quite a bit. Just pop over to another barn, um, help them out with their horses in hand. And it's really cool for me to see their training style, their experience, how they're working with their horses. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Anybody thinking about becoming a horse trainer should do it because it's the best job in the whole world. I'm just to the barn. I have a few minutes that I can work a horse on the ground, be good for a little three-year-old. interesting thing about groundwork is you're able to really slow down and if it's done correctly explain to the horse the responses to the aids that you want. The more I do it the more I'm trying to slow down and explain to the horse exactly the response that I want to different aids. I think an important piece for me that's different than what some other people are looking for with flag work is that I, I want the horses to move. I want to be able to move them around me and move my flag and have them be really soft and supple in the way that they're moving. Not necessarily just that they stand still and tolerate the flag but that I'm able to move them. So yielding to my body language, my inside aids, and then that they stay bending, responsive to the halter. Those pieces I think are important. I think working with the horses on that basic level, on, on the groundwork can be really important for a lot of these youngsters to start to develop a better understanding of what we're asking for. Instead of just skipping a few steps ahead and going right into the riding, there's things I can do on the ground that can help set me up for success when I get on the horses.